The Honorable Member for Mazabuka Central. It's like a relay race, uh, Madam Chair, Madam Speaker, where the MP for Lua stopped is where I'll start, because I think I know the story. In the energy sector, to sit and allow a parastatal like Zesco to import domestic meters and replace those that were bought under three years ago is wasteful. And whoever is in charge of Zesco, Minister of Energy, if it's not too late, stop that importation. 40 million is too much money to put to waste. And I think you are, you are taking Zambian people for granted. This report has its objectives about the policy framework on the oil or petroleum industry in this country. We've argued many times before, and I heard Honorable Simbao talking about Indeni and the absence of a hydro cracker, although he called it a cracker. This is a song we've been singing for a very long time, that if you want to address the issue of petroleum cost, you must learn to stop protecting those 300 jobs at Indeni at the expense of jobs for many Zambians. Many have talked about liberalizing the, the industry. I want to argue that Indeni remains a stumbling block in making the lives of Zambians easy. But who's the facilitator for making the lives of Zambians easy? It is the government. So if the government cannot change the lives of people for better, it's better for the people to change the government. Simple. If government cannot facilitate for people's lives to be better, the converse is the correct thing to do. The people must change the government. And the time has come for people to see and test another government that is going to address the issue of policy, because policy does, whether one likes it or not, in this particular case, it will determine the price of the commodity that we are talking about here. This country now is, is, is uh, slowly migrating from using fossil fuels into LPG, for instance. Many people have got liquefied petroleum gas in their houses. There is need for government to develop a policy which will make the importation of LPG zero rated. It's a policy. Wake up. It's a policy. If the government fails to make the lives of people better, the people must change the government. Someone argued here, and I was taking notes. Madam, there are too many costs that are associated with the petroleum industry in this country. Taking them as an example, there's a table in that report. A table which has revealed that there are so many charges, fees, levies, and taxes. There's waffage fee, storage charge, Storage charge for an infrastructure that was built long, long before any one of us were born at Indeni. Why, why you can cushion the life of Zambians by removing that storage charge altogether? There is what they're calling pumping fees. Yes, of course, it comes with a cost because there's electricity that is, is generated. But let's not forget that the, the, the industry, pure industry, produces its own energy. Honorable Msokotwani argued about the issue of splitting, in my own language, or refining refined products. We have said that when UPND does come into power next year, we are going to invest in a hydro cracker, which is going to, to refine crude petroleum. Many Zambians may not know that we actually uh, refine our produce twice. That is a fact. If we bought crude and not commingled feedstock, as the case is now, we'll be breaking it down at Indian for much cheaper. There will be no cost of separating it over and over and over again. I will end again by saying, when government fails to change the lives of people, the people must change the government. I thank you, sir. Madam. The